Oh, where, did my screwdriver, where did my screwdriver go, Bellatrix? What did you do with it? Seriously. Oh, okay. So I have this situation where I live on an island, and to drive my boat into my island, I come through this little channel that's about 100 meters long, and like a little water channel, a canal, right? And over time, leaves fall into it, and dirt gets into it, you know, it, it, it starts filling up slowly, right? And years ago, I made a sucker, which is what is right here that I'm taking apart right now. And this thing would suck the muck out and squirt it somewhere else, like onto the land where the water would run out and it would basically stay on the land. And then it would make a little bit more land, which is great. Um, but basically, it just, it just kind of cleaned out the canal to, to keep the right depth so I'm not trying to drive the boat through, through sediment and muck, right? However, my canals were so cleaned out and doing so well that... I didn't need this thing for a long time and I ended up decommissioning it and used the motor for something else and some of the parts for other things. And now it's been a few years since then and we'll, at least one of my canals, is, you know, it's got like a fair amount of muck on the bottom. And when the tide is low, my boat is kind of scraping through the muck and it's harder to move. So I don't want to let that keep building up. So I want to rebuild a muck sucker. Oh, you want to just take all that apart? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I want to redesign this whole area anyway, so... Super struck. I might have to rent this thing out to people. A lot of people have the same, same problem. Oh, I can start a muck-sucking business. Oh, you need your muck sucked? I will suck your muck. <sighs> Maybe not the best slogan. Huh. This is actually some not bad engineering. I know when I built this, I didn't have anywhere near the amount of tools I have now. I made a pretty nice roller bearing in there. <laughs> well, that is a cool bearing. I'm going to have to reuse that for sure. Yeah, this went through a lot. All the rollers are still in good shape. Does this come apart? This comes apart. Pretty sure that comes apart. I don't know. If not, I could... I could put it all together if I had to. Actually, that won't be that hard. Yeah, so this obviously had a lot of dirt flowing through it. Which is why I just made it with all of these jumbo parts. Kind of loose fitting. So the dirt and muck could get in there and get back out. It looks like it worked really well. Alright. Tubo Redondo Briante. One inch mm -hmm. diameter. A 1.5 millimeter wall thickness, 316 stainless steel. Okay, I got five of those. Well, I guess I can use one of those. I, I always try to use from my scrap pile first, but I, I don't really have anything, so breaking into the new materials. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're in this pile here somewhere. Not in the front. Oh, no, nope, they're in the pile right there. Oh, yeah, there they are. Okay. No, we got a baby. Alright, this pipe's reasonably straight. Good enough. You're having trouble getting all the things in before, right? Because they would fall down? I don't do it. No, I'm going to show you. Here, you put the pipe in, and the pipe will take up the space, and you put those up around the pipe. So get the rest of the roll, just stick them in there. You have to give you more space. Try to get them in there. Don't, don't fight it. Just tell me if you need me to, to move this out of the way more. You got it? Yep. And back up a bit more. Yep. Okay, so you can get the last one. Last two. Does that look like all the spaces are pretty much taken up? No. Yeah, it's a pretty loose bearing. But it should work well. No, I want space. I want it to be loose. Why do I want it to be loose? Uh, so it spins fast. Well, no, so all the dirt can get through and doesn't, doesn't get stuck. 
want this bearing to be a little more snug. So I'm making a sleeve that fits over this. Ooh. Couldn't find anything that fit oh, man. right on here. So I got a PVC pipe that's a little bigger, cut a slot out, and I'm melting it to fit. And hopefully it'll fit in that bearing wherever it went. Wow, that is great. Yeah, I like that more. It was a little too loose before. I think I'll use the same basic setup down here. Except now the bearing fits a little tighter. Before I had this rubber thing on here that was supposed to help keep dirt from, you know, getting into here. But it's a little abrasive. It's car tire, which is, you know, gritty. So it actually left a lot of scoring on the other thing. And we're not going to use that. And this fits tighter now, so that should block most of the muck from going this way. Because what's supposed to happen here is the muck, this has a propeller, it's right here, sucks the muck in, and then there's like a, another kind of <sighs> propeller thing that pushes out here that helps the muck go this way. And, you know, the muck gets pushed up against here, so there's... It, it can't get through up into this pipe very easily, but if a little bit gets through, it's fine. It just lubricates the thing and whatever and dumps out. But most of it should get squirted out up here and then goes through this pipe. I'll stick that back on there. So I need to make some kind of propeller on here. Let's see what I can. I think I can reuse some of my propeller blades there. Yeah, those ones look not bad. I, I bent it a little to get a bit, of, bit better shape than it had. Still not the most spectacular propellers in the world, but they are very tough. And you know, I'm inevitably going to hit some kind of little sticks and stuff. Just have no problem with that. Right, not the prettiest propeller in the world, but should do pretty good. Cool. Now I want at least one more set of propeller blades, maybe, I don't know. I want, I just want to get as much force shoving the muck that way. Let's leave that for now. We need a motor at this end. I think this guy right here, what I'm looking for. 24 to 48 volts, I'll run it at 24. So that'll mean like 2,150 RPMs-ish. 2,000 to, oh, I can't read it. All right, just pay attention for a second. Nothing bad should happen here, but you know. Okay, definitely works. Good. Man, that thing torques mighty hard. Hey, while I've got it up here, before I put it on anything, I think I will open it up and just clean everything out. Give it a bit of a tune-up. Put it in here. No, 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 not everyone, because a bunch of these are attached just to the brushes. This one right here goes through into the frame. Okay, first thing I'm noticing here, what? these are the brushes, right? Yeah. These are what touch this part and put electricity in there. And they're all spring-loaded, but look, these four aren't moving. So these two are good, they're nice and clean, but these four, we're gonna have to get them moving and clean them out, just get any dirt or anything out of there. Now let's see how lucky I am.
Oh, look at that. Oh, it fits pretty snug. A little bit of space. I can put a, a shim in there, but it's pretty good. Nice. Oh, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to work. But let's give it a try. starting to get somewhere except this has got to be curved the opposite direction oh, right. I think I can do something with that I think all right it's gonna go that way so. I think I can get that to work. Oh, come on, you little jerk. That is pretty good. I think. <laughs> well, it's stuck on there anyway. I think it'll work. Now I need to make sure this actually fits over it. And then I might want to put something here too to help the muck get shoved up through there. Something like this. Nothing fancy. So we'll just push it away from the center. All right, I think that's going to be pretty good. I have to take these two off to get this on. Hopefully all this stuff fits inside here. Oh, nice it fits. Yeah. A little bit of wiggle room. Wow, that looks excellent in there. Yeah, I think that was going to be really good. I think. I don't know. Muck will get sucked in here and blown up out here. So, okay, I don't want these out there. That's the easy part. Now you have to screw. Yeah, I'll put a couple screws in there. Let me worry about the end up there first. What happens up there? All right, I got that attached. Oh, I put the motor on with a toilet flange, which surprisingly fit perfectly. And the motor's inside the pipe in there. I don't remember if I got video of this, but it just has one hole right through and a bolt connecting them. Now, hopefully, mud will get shot up here and out here, and then... Yeah, let me attach to this. Well, I just put a few screws in there. I think this thing is actually ready to test. 